Welcome back to the grind for a guide on the Glycon boss. I'm going to share with you only what you need to know to defeat this Glycon boss, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, really quickly, a few things that won't come up in the footage is all of his abilities will bypass your immunities, so you can't get around anything with immunities, such as power drain immunity or root immunity if a champion comes out with that. He is also immune to ability accuracy modification, and you cannot use immortality or indestructible because when that activates on you, he is going to gain three bars of power, so champion Champions like Hercules, Titanium, and Hulkling will lead to automatic death and a loss if you have those mechanics that activate. You're also not able to modify your damage by means of buffs or other mechanisms built into the kit. The only way is by use of prowess, so mutants tend to be really good for this fight. So this fight works by performing punishments, but only up to the max of three, unless you take the path that reduces that max to two. The first one you want to do is parry three times, but you don't want to attack him while he has a parry stun because you're going to take damage from wounds of defiance. Anytime you perform a punishment over the max, you're going to give him an evade charge. And the only way to get rid of it is by throwing a special attack or throwing your striker. But if you don't have one available and you attack into him while the evade is ready, he's going to get a counter strike against you and get a combo into you most likely and he can do a lot of damage. So you just want to avoid that. Now after you get your three stuns, you want to go into the light attack into block. All you want to do is one light attack into block. If you do more than one light attack, you're going to get wounds of defiance on you. And so you want to do a dash back, a dash in medium light and get those up to the max stacks and complete that. Each one of those that you complete is going to give you a prowess effect. So this fight is about completing the punishments without going overboard to build up prowess effects and then deal damage into him. The way you deal damage is only after countering a special attack or a heavy attack. If you attack into him in another time, it's not going to deal any damage. So you want to make sure you're baiting a heavy or a special attack before you go in to do your damage combo. If you dex or avoid the entire special attack, then he is going to remove one of the punishments allowing you to activate it again and build another prowess. So you want to do your best to evade the special attacks as much as possible. When you counter a special attack or heavy attack, you can extend the damage dealing cycle by using your striker to get an extra combo in, build up a little more power, and then throw off your special attack as you see I just did there. The other punishments in order across the screen are the striker and then intercepting and then special attacks. So you want to pay attention to when they get to the max stacks to make sure you don't go over and you want to bait out special attacks as much as possible so that you can reduce them, especially so you can continue throwing special attacks and using your striker. Now what I did is I never intercepted or I tried not to intercept because every charge or every punishment for that intercept is going to reduce your chance of parry stun and for your striker stun landing, which is going to make the fight significantly harder. If you're feeling very comfortable and you want to speed things up, you can complete the last charges um, of the intercepting and the more charges you complete, once you complete 12 of the charges for punishments, it will reset all the punishments, allowing Allowing you to activate them all again. Now, if you get hit by any part of the special attacks, you're going to take again a mark of defiance and get some damage taken against you. You want to make the special one as much as possible because it's going to give you more opportunities to remove the charges, allowing you to gain more prowess, and it'll give you more practice baiting the special one, which is going to be the one you want to rely on in the final phase. Once you drain the entire health bar, you're going to finish phase one. There'll be a short cutscene, and he'll get all his health back and you'll enter phase two. Now, phase two is very similar. The only difference is you push him to two bars of power and then he will randomly use a spe special one or special two. So you start off the same way doing three parries and then trying to get the three light hits into the block and remembering only to do one light hit at a time. And then you build up those six punishment charges, getting you six prowess very quick and easy and then you're going to push him up to two bars of power and ideally along the way build up a striker and a special attack to get a good chunk of damage off there is a slight indication before the special attack actually launches to tell you which one it is the special one is going to have an unstoppable and it's going to flash before the first hit occurs so you have a bit of a warning and then you can immediately counter the special attack and go in for some damage however there is a duration on the unstoppable passive and if you don't dex every single hit there is going to still be some duration active when you dex all the hits 
dies, it goes away much quicker. He does gain a lot of power back after every special attack, but only up to two bars of power. And then the special two is indicated by an unblockable uh, passive that shows up there. And so you want to create as much distance as you can and then be cautious of the final hit because it is a very slow axe that is thrown. So I'm giving you multiple examples here. You have no control over it in phase two, but in phase three, you want to avoid the special two as much as possible. Now, after being KO'd and returning into the fight, you're going to keep a majority of the punishments. There will be three of them that are randomly gone, and you'll keep all the prowesses that you had built up. Now, once you then again deplete the entire health bar, he's going to go to another cutscene and start phase three. In phase three, he's going to start with all the punishments maxed out, and you're going to have to perform the punishments to remove the charges. You're also going to be rooted during heavy attacks and special attacks, so learning the dexes and being comfortable with that is going to be very important for this part of the fight. Because he starts with all the punishments maxed, you're going to get the negatives that come with it. For example, the intercept charges are going to prevent your stun ability accuracy, so it can be helpful to get rid of those early on. Now, I went the route of doing the intercepts first to get rid of them and then perform the other punishments. But if you want to just avoid the striker and stun punishments, you don't have to worry about the intercepts. It's just going to end up taking you quite a bit longer. Even if you don't perform the punishments, if you are able to do the dexes perfectly, you're going to get the punishments removed slowly, but it's just going to take longer, like I said, because you're relying on the special dexes. Now, Silk is actually a great option for this phase because if you do mess up, she will automatically evade the entire special attack, but there is a cooldown on that, so you can't rely on it every time. Now, because when you fully dex a special attack, it will remove one of the punishments, that means it will end up getting you to zero punishments, and then after a short delay will fully reset all of them, meaning you're going to have to go back in and remove the intercept charges again before you can rely on parrying. This may be a bit frustrating, but it does allow you to build a lot more prowess, meaning that you will be able to end the fight that much quicker. Another one of my MVPs, actually probably my most um, and my, my most most valuable player was Emma Frost. She is so tanky and she's in that diamond form so you can take blocked hits as much as you want. Getting accidentally hit by a special or a heavy if you're in diamond form doesn't do as much damage and then her special attacks are just wild because she has prowess of her own and she just has absolute nukes of special attacks so what I did was I would build a special twos and I would just throw off some gnarly special attacks with the final hit sometimes doing over 300,000 damage. And once you deplete the final health bar, you're going to most likely trigger an, an indestructible passive. Now it's not 100% chance, but it very much nearly is. And it lasts quite a while and you have to kind of wait that out and try not to get KO'd while it's active. And then once it runs out, you want to then um, counter a special or heavy to trigger your damage abilities. And then you'll get your final hit in to then KO him and that will be it. Now. The dexing of the specials is so important for this fight. You want to primarily bait out special ones when you're able to. And once you get it down, it's not too bad. The first hit is a close range kind of kick. And then he's going to jump up and throw a projectile down, as you see there. Then he's going to go in for two quick hits and then a slight pause before the third hit. But it's basically three quick dexes back to back. And there's that juicy special three. That was like 500,000 damage. Um, so we're going to slow it down here for the special one. A kick there. He jumps up and throws a projectile down. He comes down for two quick hit kicks and then a slight delay before that third one. But again, they come pretty quickly back to back. So it's a dex, a dex, and then three quick dexes after he sort of teleports down to you. So I hope this video was helpful. I tried to keep it as succinct and complete as possible so you can get in this video and get out and get back into the quest and defeat Glycon. Good luck and I hope to see you in the next video.